Okay, so hi, I'm Sarah. I was the embedded staff member for Waker and Woosh, one of the projects, one of the games that was developed this summer during the Gambit Summer Program. Um, our goal was to develop an educational game that was fun to play. And we actually had the goal of developing two versions of the game using exactly the same gameplay. One version that had a story and one version that was much more abstract. So the educational, our educational target was a game that allowed the player to learn a little bit about the graphical representation of displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Basic physics, essentially. In the end, we ended up getting only uh, displacement and velocity and we cut the acceleration because that was what we could get done in the summer. So our team's first goal was to figure out a gameplay mechanic that worked with the graphical expression of displacement and velocity, i.e. drawing a graph. Actually, that's not quite true. Our real first goal was getting everyone on the team to understand the graphical relationships of velocity and displacement. So for the first roughly two weeks of our eight-week pro project, we spent about an hour to an hour and a half every morning having a basic physics review, drawing graphs and putting calculus equations up on the board until everyone felt like they understood how all those concepts interrelated. Once we'd gotten class out of the way, we could sit down and start trying to figure out an actual gameplay that would work with that and would be fun to do. Uh, we went through a whole lot of different ideas, um, ranging from a game in which you had a set of electrical wires and a bunch of birds sitting on them, and you sent electrical pulses through the wires at different speeds to be both a rhythm game and a graphing game. We spent a little bit of time working with that, and then we determined that we really couldn't figure out, well, we can make a good rhythm game with that. We couldn't figure out how to do a graphing game with it at the same time. So we ended up discarding that one, along with the side game that was possibly two squirrels, one sitting on each side of the, of the wires, squawking at each other, trying to make a love song to each other. The next idea was one that involved the player. The player would run along the bottom of the screen, and at this, depending on the speed at which he moved and how far he went and all that, he would draw three different lines, the curves for displacement, velocity, and acceleration. And those would be three different land masses, which after he'd finished building it, he'd climb up to the top and then walk along those curves, collecting power-ups and dodging enemies and doing things and so forth. And after a while, we determined that that didn't look like it was going to work either because it was too many variables were involved, we couldn't guarantee that the player would be able to draw something useful every time. So then we moved on to talking about a game where the, we gave the player a graph. Here's the graph of displacement. Now go ahead and put together these pipe sections which we'll give you in a way that would make a, a, a ball roll at that speed, at that distance, and at that sort of acceleration. And that also ended up being a little too complicated and difficult, and I think that the team actually just didn't like the pipes idea as much. So what we ended up going with was the idea of a game where you had to actually draw the platform you had to work on. It's got elements, it's actually got elements of both the pipe game, where you've got the graph, the graph explicitly in game, and it's got elements of the game that involved drawing the ground. In this case, instead of drawing three lines at once, you're only drawing one line. Uh, in this case, either displacement graph or velocity graph, depending on where you are in the game. And so that was our core gameplay mechanic. And we drew up lots of pictures, and we drew lots of graphs, and we played it a whole lot of times, drawing curves with a pencil, and saying, oh yeah, hey, you know, this is kind of fun. And Everything else ended up being built around that, including the story. Um, after we had that gameplay mechanic, pretty much all there was left to do was make it work. And that's what we spent the next six weeks doing. And that's how we got Waker and Woosh.